So you're on YouTube and you're hunting down the best matte finish wall paint you can find. Well, hopefully this video is helpful. This is gonna be a live previously recorded on our Wise Owl Paint main Facebook page that goes over all the amazing things to include some really cool examples of our one hour ceramic luxury interior matte finish wall paint. I'm gonna have how durable it is, how stain resistant it is. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. So if this is something you're looking forward to. Stay tuned today. So anyways, if you're brand new to Wise Out, first time ever on this page, my name is Mark Dreamer. I am the owner and artist behind Refurbished Gentleman, and I am also your creative director for Wise Out Paint. And tonight, as I do on my Thursday Night Lives, I either show a product, show me using a product, anything within the Wise Owl uh, paint uh, range of things that we sell to help you learn and grow and possibly get inspired to try things that we have. Well, one of our probably most unique and cool things since it started off as a furniture paint, craft paint kind of thing, because you can paint more than just furniture with our chalk synthesis paint, it started there, but there's been such an evolution, even since, you know, I joined Karen, let's going on three years, four years now since I've been, it was the chalk synthesis paint, then the enamel, and the metallic, and now one hour ceramic. And that's what I wanna talk about tonight, just in case you didn't know, so our one hour ceramic is a 100% acrylic matte finish luxury interior wall paint. And that's a big mouthful to say it's an amazing paint for your in interior of your house that's gonna give you a matte finish with a whole bunch of extra other goodies that go into it. So I'm gonna get, give you the technical mumbo jumbo, but I'm also gonna show you some really fun examples of why the one hour ceramic is not your average matte paint. And I can tell you from experience, military moved many, many times, painted many, many walls and painted matte finishes before. Uh, most of the time from the big box stores, if you get a matte finish, you can't touch the thing. You paint and you're done. And there's all kinds of other yucky stuff that come with painting in a normal latex style kind of paint. So we're gonna go through all of it and actually have an entire YouTube video I put in the video description that walks through my top five reasons why you should try it. We're gonna go through a little bit of that tonight. And again, some extra stuff on top of that. So the first and foremost, the biggest thing for me, again, if you follow along me in a refurbished gentleman or just watch these lives, having something that's green, that's safe to use is such a huge part of me and what I use and why I use Wise Owl. So like zero VOCs, extremely low VOCs, green, no solvents, you know, crystalline silicates in the chalk synthesis paint, all the things. Well, this one is exactly the same. It's going to be extremely low VOC. So, and I say that and sometimes people are like, well, what does that mean, Mark? Like what exactly does extremely low mean? It means there's still some in there. Well, the, the just to give you a gauge, so you know, you understand our chalk synthesis paint is zero, right? The allowable amount that you're allowed to have, you find in some of the big box stores is 380 grams per liter, right? So ours is 50. So if that tells you extremely low, like we have to tell you there's VOCs in there, but we, we can't tell, can't not tell you that it's extremely low. So the allowable is 380, ours is 50. And what does that mean in just general terms? It just means it's safer to use, safer to inhale. Um, I know I actually test labbed one of our rooms in the house before I started using the rest on the one hour um, ceramic for a couple of reasons. And one of them was just the fumes, the smell, the fumes really gives you headaches and all that kind of stuff, which it did. I worked to this one room and I'm not even kidding you. It was like, we had to open the windows and if you live in Florida, you don't really open your windows unless it's like a low pollen count because you'll have humidity and all kinds of stuff coming to your house. 
So extremely low VOC, so you don't have to worry about those fumes. You can paint in your house, you can paint a lot of your house and not have to worry about it. And I think that's, that's my number one. That's my big why I love 1R Ceramic because of that. It's just safer to use and I don't have those headaches and all that kind of gross stuff that comes with it. Okay, so that's, that's always my number one. Anytime it has to do with safety, I want to hit on that first, so that's that. Um, Self-priming is another one of those really key factors. So you can crack the can, roll it on the wall, and you're good. As long as the walls are clean, it could already have been painted. Uh, the only other, the only areas that we would have to like think about doing primer is bare metal or raw wood, and you can use our actually use our stain eliminating primer on those things. So like. I don't know if you're painting over something like in my garage as an example there's a couple of metal things if i wanted to ensure the longevity of that you know if i was really worried about it not in my garage but in the house somewhere where it was metal um you probably want to put some primer on there but i'm telling you it sticks really well so you know that's one of those things self priming so you don't have to worry about priming your wall or anything just make sure it's clean we had some spots in these walls because this house is fairly old. I had to just wipe down the wall a little bit and it turned out beautiful. So one of the other big things that people ask about is coverage. So we know it's a luxury interior wall paint, which means it's got a lot of these amazing things going on with it. But at the end of the day, when you're paying for a premium, pro a premium product, you want to know that that premium product is going to give you the best of what it can give you. And usually that's coverage. And we're gonna revert back to that test lab room I did. So I did a room in a dark blue color knowing I was gonna use our one hour ceramic. That room took me five coats for, I think it was two walls. I did two accent walls in this navy blue. And I think it took me three gallons of paint to do two teeny tiny walls because I went from that contractor yellow white color and the contrast, it just, it was not covering. And it was, oh, it was not fun. Um, I wished I didn't test lab my own house for a whole wall, but I did. So I could really be truthful and honest and share, like when I use this, what the end result was. And in that same YouTube video, I talked about, there's gonna be examples of um, where I painted behind our TV and an, an inkwell, which is a dark navy blue color, and it took really took one and a half coats. And I mean that to say, like when you use our chalk synthesis paint, it almost takes one coat, but you know you need the second coat. And that's exactly how the one hour ceramic was going on. So not only are you getting this, you know, really premium quality paint, but it has an absolutely incredible coverage. So you're using less of the paint. So at the end of the day, like you're, you're paying for what you're getting and that that what you're getting is going to go a long way so that's one of the big things and i wrote it down just to be sure it's 400 square feet per gallon in case you were wondering like specifics of and all that kind of stuff but i can just tell you for me um in comparison to having test labbed another dark navy paint over a white that contrast was not fun and this one again took one and a half ish i it took i did two full coats but you get my point like it was almost complete coverage with just the one so that was cool okay so and then the big deal probably what you've heard about for this paint is that it's durable scrubbable paint and for a matte finish paint that's an, an anomaly in the world of wall paint because i can tell you i painted walls with a matte finish paint and they end up like our chalk synthesis paint where you touch it and it has, you can see you're touching it and stuff because our chalk synthesis paint needs to be top coated. That's almost like what some of the matte finish paints out there are like. They have that chalky, I mean, it makes it matte, but you can't touch it. You can't clean it. You have to repaint the whole section if you mess it up. Well, this paint, one hour ceramic is not that. And I have some really cool examples. And that's why I wanted to do a live because in my YouTube video, I didn't do these couple little things. And I thought it would be fun to share these kind of quirky little nuances of the paint 
that is the big deal. The big deal about this paint is it's durable and scrubbable. The one thing um, that people have asked me the most about, is it really that, is it really that? I have it all over every wall in the house. I bumped into plenty of them. And we're actually gonna do a scratch test right here live. So no, no funky YouTube camera tricks. I'm gonna actually use a yellow highlighter on Snow Owl. And then I even painted a balloon. Now this little balloon trick is not mine, this is Karen's. She did this and shared the durability of the paint. Now you can imagine, I didn't do a secondary balloon to kind of compare and contrast, but you can imagine if you painted a balloon with paint, pop the balloon, the paint should kind of brutally fall off the thing. It shouldn't be all one entity still, right? That's how normal paint would be, normal kind of paint that you would use, right? So even if this was like a normal paint, like satin finish, eggshell, whatever, not this really cool, durable, scrubbable matte finish, you would not expect it to be this durable. So we're gonna go through those three things here real quick, and then we'll get to a couple other final little details. But that's why I wanted to do live, because in my YouTube video, I go through my top five reasons, but I didn't get into these fun little quirky things that I thought would be cool to share live. So first and foremost, Let's see here, let's do the scratch test. Okay, so this beautiful color, by the way, is Labyrinth. Uh, it's a blue greenish color, absolutely stunning. And as you can see, matte finish. There is zero, and I mean zero, reflectivity. And one of the biggest things about that is no change in color. So. You pick this color, this is the color you get. And that's what will happen a lot of times when you buy a latex paint that has, even the ones that say flat are not really flat. They have some reflectivity to it. And when you have that reflectivity, depending on how you see it, depending on shadows and light and all that kind of stuff, it will change the color. And that's why a matte finished paint is so amazing because when you paint it, it's that color and it does not change unless you change it somehow, right? So here's that, okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm literally gonna scratch this up with my fingers right here. And you're gonna hear it and probably feel it from how hard I'm gonna do it. And with just a blue shop towel in water, I'm gonna wipe that away. And you're gonna watch it just disappear right before your eyes. So this will be the first durability test. So we're down through the things I wanted to share and show durability is first and then we'll get to another the balloon well we'll do the balloon last and then we'll do the stain resistant stain resistance is really cool especially over white wait till you see that okay so we're gonna do the scratch all right okay you guys could hear that you can see that right a durable right because i just scratched the you know what out of that thing and this is just plywood this isn't even anything you know something i probably should have primed which i didn't but i just wanted to use an example okay so no funky camera tricks. I'm gonna stick this right here, right? I'm gonna get my water. There's no, there's just water. There's no cleaning agent, which you wouldn't use anyway. I'm gonna spray this guy with just a little bit of water. Blue shop towel water, that's it. So imagine you got kids, you painted this beautiful accent wall and labyrinth, and one of your kids shoots this Nerf gun or something, and, you got little dots all over the wall, or your kid's throwing the ball for your dog against the wall. Okay, check that out, watch. Okay, let's see, where can I stand to make this as clear as possible? Um, where did it go, where did it go? And I'll even dry it for you guys, watch. And, ta-da! Where did the scratches go? They disappeared, oh my God. Ah. So durability, A, I scratched the you know out of it. And then those scuffs, just by blue shop towel and water are completely gone, like gone. And I'm telling you, I've used a matte finish paint. You cannot do that. Like this is a, a, not a thing. So how awesome is that? So, so that's what we have. Yeah, pretty amazing stuff. All right, and, and we have one other durability that's gonna be the balloon, but that's pretty dramatic. So I'm gonna go to the next test, which is also kind of dramatic. 
So stain resistant. So again, you got kids spilling stuff, paint went flying somewhere. We're gonna go extreme with this bad boy. We're gonna use a yellow highlighter on Snow Owl, okay? I'm gonna do this live too, no fancy camera tricks. We're just gonna write on here and we're gonna wipe it off with just water, same water I used here a second ago. So I'm gonna put it up. Hopefully you can see this, it's gonna be kind of reflective. So I'm gonna do my best, okay? We're gonna do a little scoochy scoochy, okay? I even blow it, wipe it with my finger so it's not coming off, okay? Nope, I'm gonna make sure you can see it the whole time. I'm not tricking you guys, I promise. Same blue shop towel, still has water on it. Ta-da! Where did it go? It disappeared. How amazing is that, right? Again, matte finish wall paint that you can do that to. So if you got kids and you want to have a beautiful wall, but you're worried about it getting messed up, booyah. Water, blue shop towel, no chemicals. You don't have to bring no chemicals in your house to clean your wall. You don't have to repaint it. Just wipe, wipe, wipe. And that's Snow Owl with a lighter, a fluorescent highlighter. And you saw me, I wiped it with my finger. So it was on there. But that's the stain resistance that it has. Pretty awesome. That's awesome right there. So, I don't know. That was one of those things that I knew I had to share and show and I went hardcore. I went highlighter on white. So, and that is our Snow Owl. Absolutely beautiful, perfect, white, white, pure white color. And last but not least, this is the, probably the coolest thing. I, like I said, the boss did this. If you don't know who the boss is, Karen and is the boss of Wise Owl. And she did this. I saw it. I was like, what the what? That's so cool. So here's the balloon. And she had, she had another balloon that showed the other paint. So you can imagine, paint a balloon. A, it shouldn't stick to it, self-priming. B, as soon as you pop it, it should crumble and fall all over the place, right? It should, right? So I did two coats, which you can see, again, amazing coverage. I just brushed it on, so you see all the kinds of brush strokes all over the place, because I just slapped it on there. Okay? So white balloon, labyrinth, two coats. Okay, you ready? This is live, no fancy camera tricks, watch. Oh, I dropped it, sorry. I promise, that's no fa fancy camera tricks, but look, look at that. Tell me another paint's gonna do that. It is so intact, it's so durable. Even Maddie was out here, I popped another balloon earlier when I was playing around with it. And she was like, holy cow, dad, check that out. It's just, it's not going anywhere. I mean, I could wear it as a hat. Now, watch this. Now you can really imagine, if I was to crumple this up, it should crumple and fall and pieces should be dropping all over the place. Mm -mm. This is not that. Matte finish wall paint that's this durable this durable, like legit. Seriously though. Yeah, it could be a shower cap, but I got a big noggin, so it's not gonna fit over my big egghead. But look at that. Now, if that's not dramatic, I don't know what is. Durable, super, super durable paint. So not only is it stain resistant, but it's this durable. So imagine you, again, you got kids and they're beating stuff against the wall Dogs are scratching at it. Uh, that's a good one. Dogs scratching at it. We all know kid, you know, throw, I know I throw my ball for mini, my little shop pal, and I bounce it off the walls all the time. And I don't worry about it anymore. I used to at the old house. I used to get mad and tell everybody stop throwing against the walls, but these walls I don't have to worry about because durability, dude. I mean, this, if this don't tell you, this is like the most dramatic thing I've, I've seen. Look at that. All completely still intact really cool so that was my cool little tricks I wanted to share and show I just thought those were really I didn't use them in my YouTube video I should have 
but it was kind of cool because I could come back to it on the live and share with you guys. So that's pretty awesome stuff. Now you're thinking, okay, well, all that stuff's cool. How do I apply it? Right? Like what's the best method? So it's a self priming and self leveling paint. So if you use a three eighth, three eighth, three eighths, three eighths, three eighths woven nap roller, you're going to get a beautiful, nice, flat, self leveling finish, right? Which is fine, all that stuff, but most people have walls that are not flat, right? Like our house, 1970s, it was built and it already has blemishes and orange peel and bumps from the 182 million nails that got patched all over the place. So not only is the matte paint gonna hide those blemishes because you're not gonna have that reflectivity to show all the little bumps, but you can also do one little trick. So one little trick that I've learned and I love and I've done throughout the entire house was I add a little texture. Very, very little because it is very self-leveling, so it's hard to have it keep texture, is I use a half inch roller. And with that half inch roller, it basically evened out. So I had, like the walls are a little orange peely looking. I mean, it looks nice to me, the walls. And they're a little orange, orange peel, but they have all these little bumps here and there. So I added just a little bit of the slight hint of that orange peel that evened it all out. So now it's just all the same. So a half inch roller. So if you have those kind of old bumpy walls and you want to beautifully even it out, half inch roller. Amazing. Worked perfect for me. So then you want to talk about cutting in. Now we have popcorn ceilings all throughout this house. So yes, I had to cut in all over the place because rolling was not going to get it done. So I went ahead and used our micro angle wise all premium brushes. Now, when I first started on the house, we only had the one and a half and I'd say like a room and a half in, we got the two inch. And I can tell you right now, the two inch, even though it's only half an inch, makes a huge difference. So obviously cutting in, very important, you know, part of the process. So you're not having to roll all the way up to the ceiling, especially if you can't tape it off. If you have popcorn ceilings like I do, so you want to grab this two and a half inch. It's got the micro angle, so it's going to be pointed, right? So you can get up to the top of the ceiling and just drag and it's deep enough, right? With a two inch where you can roll up to where you stopped your cutting in. And this, this was amazing, huge, very important because um, this uh, stupid popcorn ceilings we had were not fun at all. So, and then I got uh, some other application methods. Um, well, one really, and one we've been talking about a lot here at Wise Out here lately, and that is spraying. So, I, I have not done this yet, but you can spray our one, our ceramic. The biggest thing is you're gonna to wanna to have a good sprayer and our Wiseall Stingray sprayer I know can push it because I've seen it done before. Because our friend Holly has gone ahead and done a video and she's gonna show a little bit about that. But for now, what you need to know is you can push it through this sprayer, not diluted. But if you need to dilute it, you can dilute it one pint per gallon and no more than that. So if you have a sprayer that maybe isn't as strong as this one and you wanna try that, that's what you can do. So I wanna make sure hit on that point because I know it works through our Stingray sprayer because again, we've got a little little in-house spraying, spraying pal of ours, Holly, that made sure to reassure me by showing me a video of her doing it. It looked amazing. So think about that. The only thing she said is spraying walls is, you know, that's a lot more than just a small piece of furniture. So maybe an accent wall or two, but a whole room, yeah, I don't know, that might be a lot to try to spray on your own, but if you're doing accent walls, especially with this kind of paint, uh, accent walls are a big thing or feature walls are a big thing. So if you want a really easy way to knock that out, our Stingray sprayer can do that for you. But if you don't have the sprayer, again, one pint per gallon at the most 
no more than that um, to dilute it. But anyway, so I just want to hit that. I'm really excited about this if you didn't already know. So um, I wanted to make sure I add that in for this slide for you guys. There are 25 colors. You can find those on wiseallpaint.com under the, underneath the color section. And let's see, what else am I missing? It's waterborne, so you can clean it with soap and water. Um, I use my cut-in brushes, and if I'm doing it in over consecutive nights, so it's four to six hour recoat time. So it's one hour ceramic, meaning it'll be dry to the touch in an hour but you wanna wait at least four to six hours for it chemically to dry. It's a water-based product. So you wanna really give it time to dry the way it's supposed to dry, not with a hair dryer, you know what I mean? Like dry naturally. So four to six hours later. So if you go overnight and you got your cutting in brush and you know you need coat number two, this is all I do. Let's see where I got it. I just throw it in some aluminum foil and grab it real tight or a Ziploc bag, one of the others. It's what I happen to grab today. And it will be good to go the next day. So, and you can do the same thing with your roller. I wrap my roller in saran wrap and then I roll it in aluminum foil. I do the same thing with my brush and then come back the next day and I'll be good to go. So, but it is fairly quick. So, I mean, you could really seriously, if you're doing two coats, which is all I did, you can knock out a feature wall or, you know, whole hallways and stuff in a day, really. And that's, hitting back to the whole fumes and safe to use extremely low voc is that if you're using one of those other kind that have the fumes and the higher level voc you know you have to do it compartmentalized because you know it just consumes the whole house we did that one room and i'm telling you it was in the back corner of the house and i was doing a wall at a time and it just took over the whole house and then I went to do, use these after I got done test labbing with that other stuff. And I was able to do like a hallway, the living room, the dining room, all together, all at the same time because the fumes just were not there. We didn't have to worry about headaches and sleeping in it and all that kind of stuff. And that's the other video is our bedroom. Yeah, I went crazy bold. If you haven't seen that live, I did a live and a YouTube video about how I did our bedroom. I did our bedroom in jet black all the way around and it looks amazing so imagine a black right but not a shiny black a completely matte finished jet black so anyways in the video description there'll be a link to that because what i did was i did this and it's this exact stencil on our bedroom wall but this is actually inkwell Oh, this is when I was testing my idea before I took it to my wall. So what this is, and this is another thing you can do with one hour ceramic. I know this is, this live's probably going long tonight, but there's a lot to share. So, sorry. But this is another thing you can do with the one hour ceramic. So you have a matte finish wall paint. And we have other paints that are not matte. So if you'd grab a stencil and stencil your wall with the same color, that has a sheen, yeah, check that out. Awesome. I actually, again, I did a whole YouTube video about how I did it on my wall in my bedroom and I did it in jet black. So imagine my wall is jet black. I use the jet black one hour enamel, in which is a satin finish. And then we have golden bronze frames and golden bronze sconce and kind of mid-century uh mod furniture it, it's it's nice nice i haven't finished it all yet because i haven't finished decorating but i'll get final uh photos and put those up on refurbished gentleman when it's all done but you can see me actually doing this technique this dual sheen technique in that youtube video it's in the video description of this live right now but i wanted to share this because this was two so two separate things that look, they look exactly the same, but here's two methods you can utilize to accomplish the same thing. So this is Inkwell, one hour ceramic, and this stencil is Inkwell, one hour enamel, which obviously is a satin finish, so it has the sheen. So you can see it depending on the way the light hits it, it shows differently, awesome stuff. You're like, well, Mark, this other side looks exactly the same. Well, like, yes, it does, because what you can do as an alternative, if you don't have 
want our enamel color that's the same as your wall paint, you can use our one hour enamel clear coat in satin and get the same exact effect. So if we don't carry the same color, as an example, in both lines, you can just grab our one hour enamel clear coat in either satin or semi-gloss, depending on how you know sheeny you want it to be, that's a word, and you can accomplish the same effect. So it's the same exact thing. You're getting the same thing for both sides. Paint the same color, one hour enamel, one hour enamel clear coat over top. And it gives you that really amazing kind of cool look. So nice stuff, right? And it's a stencil. These are cutting edge stencils. These are also stencils that we have on our wiseallpaint.com. And the other video in the video description of this live is me utilizing the cutting edge stencils I think it was the first time I had ever really played with them, maybe the second time. And I shared that in a YouTube video as well. Just kind of more cleanly walking through the steps of how and what and all that kind of fun stuff. And then I took it to the wall and did what I did with the bedroom. So all those videos are already out there on our YouTube, our Wise All Paint Party YouTube channel for you guys to watch and learn and get more information about just how you can use our one hour ceramics. So that's gonna be it for tonight. I don't think I have it. Oh, while I'm here, for the people that caught the live about the metallics, I wanted to show the final result. In case you were wondering, I had a couple people ask, like, what did that that plant end up looking like, Mark? It ended up looking amazing is what it ended up. So, so that's that. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that because I had a couple people ask since I didn't do like a follow-up picture thingy of, but that's it. Um, this has been a little bit longer than usual, but I really wanted to hit on all the fun things, go through the balloon trick, the highlighter trick, the scratch test, and really just show you, because, you know, people could do some funky things on YouTube. They could do some funny editing and swap out this and put this other thing in here to show you things that aren't really real. But, I mean, you can't get any more real than live on a live on Facebook. So hopefully that showing you these little tips and tricks and how durable it is and how stain resistant it is just helps you understand a little bit more about the product. And then the videos will show you some ways to use it. So, and that's kind of where we're going. We're going to have me on here lives on Thursdays. We're still going to be populating the Wise All Paint Party YouTube channel here and there intermittently as I do some projects. We might have some other people help us add to the Wise All Paint Party YouTube channel. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm excited about that. So we're gonna have more to share, to show all the amazing things that are Wise Owl and how to use them from the chalk synthesis paint, which is, you know, furniture and arts and crafts. Our one hour enamel, that's front doors, cabinets. I use it on furniture. Our metallics to do fun little projects like that or hardware on a project, details on a, piece of furniture even front doors if you haven't seen a metallic front door it's pretty amazing and then of course the one hour ceramic which we talked about tonight which hopefully all this information was helpful i will go back after i get off of here and i'll go through and check all the questions i'm not going to do that now because i've been talking long enough i think for one night and we have another live on somebody else's page that i think you guys should go check out so i don't want to take too long because you're gonna wanna go, if you don't already know who this person is, Brushed by Brandy is gonna be using some of our Wise All Paint tonight on her live that she does right after our live at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm probably gonna guess 40 minutes-ish from now over on her page. She's gonna be painting some chairs. I just caught that before I got on here. So I was really glad I did just so I could share more. And again, sharing more of what wise all has what we can do what you can do with the products is what we're trying to get out there these lives you know um get other artists involved other kinds of amazing things that we can do to help inspire you to try so there you have it awesome right if this isn't the best matte finish wall paint i don't know what is 
prior military moved lots and lots, painted a ton of houses, as I mentioned in the video, and so many of them, I've tried those other matte finish wall paints before I, we had ours here at Wiseau. And I'm very thankful to say all the things that it does in, that, in the video are the things that are very helpful within my household. So hopefully this information was helpful for you to make that decision on trying some one hour ceramic. If you do, I'll have the link in the video description how you can purchase them and also the links to all the videos that are on this channel right now that can help you learn more, try new techniques, tips, tricks, all the things. So if this video was helpful, please hit subscribe, hit like, and in the comment section, be sure to let me know if there's any other style videos with one hour ceramic or any other Wise All paint products you'd like to see. I hope everybody has a blessed day and as always, happy painting.